Hi guys, it's Magic from Find the Magnificence in You, and this is going to be your How Do They Feel spread for October 2019, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So how it works, I'm just going to pull two cards from my Psychic Tarot for the Heart by John Holland, and two cards from the Energy Oracle deck by Sandra Ann Taylor. I've already did some shuffling off camera. I'm just going to do a little bit of shuffling on camera. Um, and then I'm just basically going to cut the deck and pull two cards off the top. And then I'll do some clarifying. This is going to be a really quick video just to kind of give you an insight of how they feel or how they will be feeling in October. Okay. So let's get started for you guys. I hope you guys had a wonderful September. And um, please check out your um, monthly overview for October, okay? I do have a channel schedule. You can check out my schedule on when I post videos. I post your videos on Mondays, okay? And if you want to check your, your moon and your rising, just check the description, okay? So the this particular summit, ooh, okay bottom of the deck there's a reconciliation six of cups here this person may be thinking about reconciling and yeah there's an unfinished cycle Ooh, bottom of the deck thank you man so this person has been really thinking about you or you've been thinking about this person but it really feels like this person wants to reconcile with you um gemini so we have the four of wands and the fool card somebody wants to either offer you commitment this could also be someone wanting to end a commitment, okay? Um, because I don't read these in the reverse. Based on the combination here with the world card, there could be some cycles that need to come to an end. So let's clarify now just to see what's going on. Um, but there could be a reconciliation still on the table because it's the overall energy. Okay, simply love. This could be about children too, okay? Let me just do one more quick shuffle and then I'll go ahead and clarify the angel of love is about um, tenderness coming in um, or a new love. So there is, there may be a new love coming in for you. Clarify the joy and stability for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have the judgment in reverse. So definitely a reconciliation and the full card again. I feel like somebody wants to resurrect or this relationship start over with you. That does make sense. I mean, if you hear noise in the background, my central cooling system just turned on. It's on automatic. I'm sorry. It automatically comes on even when I set it off, okay? So, yeah, someone wants to resurrect something. They want to start over. So, definitely that reconciliation energy was coming in strong. Right underneath it, I have the emperor. So, you may be dealing with an Aries. I also look at this as Taurian energy. Clarify okay, the trust card. And that's the full card in this deck. Clarify it's the full card. We have the four of swords. So someone's coming out of a period of isolation. This could be you. You could have taken some time out to rest to heal. I have the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Wow. You may um this person may think that you've moved on, but they definitely see you as the Queen of Pentacles. You may be the mother of this person's child or children. This person feels that you're nurturing and they can see a success with you. They might want to move this into, um, you know, they might want to move this relationship forward. I also see them seeing you as moving on. This can also mean that they want more recognition from you, okay? Or they want to give you more recognition. Ten of Wands, yeah, they want to end some sort of burden in this relationship. Okay, let's look at the world. This could have been for the world card, actually, but... I'll just put it there. Clarify the world card, please. So this is an, un, uh, you know, the world is usually in reverse for me. Repeating um, cycles. Maybe this is a, a something that needs to come to an end. It could be a behavior. This is being narrow-minded. This is like someone um, having self-doubt. This person may not um, want to open up. I feel like maybe this person is now wanting to open up. We have the seven of pentacles yeah this is about looking at their past mistakes page of wands they want to come in and communicate but we also have the five of wands here this person may be conflicted about doing this or they may feel like they if they come towards you it would spark a conflict so far i see aries leo um 
have Scorpio energy. I mean, I have all signs, but yeah, they want to come in fast here. And also what flipped over, look, we do have the Six of Cups in reverse. For some of you guys, for a group of you guys, I see that someone wants to start something new. They're wanting to let go of a burden and they're not wanting to invest. So this is for some of you guys here. If you're dealing with a fire sign, because I have lots of fire here, a fire sign is no longer wanting to put in the work or effort or they don't want to keep investing here. They're tired of fighting. It's a burden. They're tired of the inconsistency here with the Knight of Wands. And they're ready to start something new. They're thinking about starting something new. Okay, so the Six of Cups reverse. Yeah, that's for some of you guys. If you're dealing with a Scorpio or Aries, this person does want to reconcile with you. Definitely. Okay. Um, I do see, you know, an Aries is thinking that you've moved on. Someone sees you as wish fulfillment. Yeah, they see me. Someone feels that like you moved on because you're, you you want happiness and fulfillment. I also feel like you're if you're dealing with an Aries, you're their wish come true. So let's look at this um, angel of love here. This is new love coming in. Clarify the angel of love. This may be them trying to nurse themselves back to health. They're just focusing on their love, loving themselves. You know, focusing on being selfish. But this could just be, you know, they want to do what makes them happy. Eight of Pentacles. For others of you, I do see that this person does want to work on this. They do see you as your, your they see you as a dream come true. This could be Aries, but I do see Sag energy here, maybe wanting to move on, possibly Leo. But mostly Sag. Um, I do see Leo seeing you as moved on. I do see um, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurian seeing you as a wish come true. Also, an Aries may have all already moved on to something new. I said that the Aries may want to reconcile with the judgment in reverse though. I feel like this Aries may may still be trying to figure out whether they want to reconcile reconcile or start something new. Um clarify the full card. Let's see what that if that's a big new beginning, that could be someone completely new or they wanna come back. Let's see what comes out for the full. Clarify the full. We have the justice, Libra energy nine of wands yeah this person's holding on they want to they want to come back and offer you stability they want to be fair they want to be honest hey you could be dealing with a libra that wants to do this as well let's look at this angel of love i do see them that they're working a lot they've been working they've been keeping themselves distracted but they do still feel deeply for you they're they're even though they're working they just they're really feeling messed up without you with the Emperor in reverse. This is Torian energy. I definitely felt like the Torian wanted to come in and work things out with you. Yeah, see, they want to revive something that was once dead. Yeah, tower. So they're going to, there's a tower moment here, three of pentacles. Um, for some of you guys, this, this person coming in to communicate may be a complete shock because maybe there was a breakup or this person wasn't cooperative in the past. This person may have had you in a third party, so that could be surprising. I see that this person was definitely narcissistic, but they want to come back in here. Um, and, well, in the past, they may have cut off this connection and left you out in the cold. I feel like they want to come back in, but there is still a little bit of, um, they're not sure. It could be dealing with the Aquarius or Libra man. Clarify the King of Swords. Why is he reversed? Again, sorry for the background noises, you guys. It's raining outside and then the AC is on. Clarify the King of Swords here. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Alright. Yeah. This person may have detached already. King of Cups. This person is emotionally detached from you. So if you're dealing with a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini... This person has detached. Also, I see a Scorpio and a Capricorn detaching as well from this connection, okay? Um, but for some of you guys, remember, this could be sun, moon, rising. But there is still uh, two groups of you guys where we have some people wanting to come back. And we do have some people that have moved on and found new love, new, and that have new beginnings. Um, 
I try to get you know I try to get as specific as possible but I do do I do see a Sag is definitely gone <laughs> a Sag um, particular fire signs are out of there um, but I see Capricorn I see Taurus Aries yes reconciliation possibly Libra but I do see a Scorpio Aquarius and a Gemini I don't think so um I want to pull because we have the thinking man this person has yeah some of these people haven't decided yet I do see there is someone manifesting a new beginning for themselves and they're detaching that does coincide with this energy here the devil and the king of cups this is definitely someone detaching this could be cancer Pisces or Scorpio doing this okay so that's your reading please let me know if any of that resonated for you um, please like comment and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time